Tom, my name is Raphael. I am a brand new harmonica player, um, novice, learning for the first time, picking up uh, harmonica for the first time. My question is about uh, puckering versus uh, tongue blocking, and is there a wrong way to learn? I saw your video on uh, the hybrid approach. However, my question gets a little more specific. I've attempted uh, multiple uh, harmonica positions inside of my mouth to achieve via puckering, but in order to get a clean note, I really have to tense my muscles and zero them in, and it's exhausting. Um, tongue blocking is much more natural. I'm able to do it for a long, lot longer. But my question is, am I doing it the wrong way? Am I learning bad muscle memory? Because the way I achieve a clean note uh, is by basically turning my tongue into a sort of a funnel and I'm able to hold it. That's actually very relaxing for me. Uh, I'm able to direct the airflow and can do a, a, you know, a long practice session without getting exhausted, without my mouth um, and, and my tongue uh, becoming sore. That's my question basically. Am I, am I learning bad muscle memory and should I go back to something that uh, in the future and for more advanced uh, skills or, or, or exercises uh, is, is the proper approach? Okay, this is a really, really good question and um, let, let me just kind of dial it in a little bit. So Raphael is doing something called U-blocking. So that's where you make your tongue into a U-shape to single out notes uh, on the harmonica. And generally, I, I, I strongly discourage people from U-blocking. Uh, I'm not sure when this episode will go out, but I did actually have a, an interview recently with a very proficient U-blocking harmonica player. Um, so depending on whether this episode uh, goes out before or after that one, uh, I'll link that up in the show notes. Uh, so it's possible to be good as a U-blocker, um, but it's easier to, to play other techniques as a lip purser or a tongue blocker. Um, so a traditional tongue blocker, instead of a U blocker uh, playing through a funnel with their tongue, they're actually playing out of the side of their mouth and their tongue is blocking the holes that they're not playing. So if I was playing uh, hole four on my harmonica here, I'd be blocking holes two and three uh, with my tongue and playing out of the right hand side of my mouth. Okay, and that means that you can use your tongue for a whole bunch of, of cool techniques like bends or tongue slaps or tongue flutters, etc., uh, etc. Et uh, there, there's a lot more that you can do tongue blocked or lip pursed than you can you blocked easily. Um, so if, if you find that, that lip pursing is very, very tense for you, then I would maybe persevere with tongue blocking instead. Um, what you'll find is generally tongue blockers find bending harder at the beginning. Um, but, but once you get through that hurdle, um, then you should be fine. Things that uh, lip pursing uh, is 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 better for uh, kind of having very articulate notes, very strong articulations, um, overblows, uh, blow bending is a lot easier, um, puckered. Um, what you might find is that as as you progress and you learn to relax more, you might use a bit of both um, because they they have very different sounds and and they give you access to a, a wider palette of tonalities. Uh, so I, I think you'd be doing yourself a disservice if you only did one or the other. Uh, I would recommend that you don't stick with you blocking um, unless you really, really, really hate uh, lip pursing and tongue blocking uh, or tongue blocking. I'd, I'd focus on the tongue blocking by the sounds of it for you will be better. Um, or if you know that you don't want to be uh, doing more uh, kind of tongue block techniques or overblows or things like that, it is it is possible to U block. Um, there are uh, players who who um, were U blockers. I think Norton Buffalo was a U blocker, and he was amazing. Uh, so it's doable, um, but uh, it might be a little bit harder in the long term. Uh, good question, Raphael. I hope I hope I answered it satisfactorily for you.
Oh, <laughs> oh,